Hey, I was wondering if it was you. Awesome, man. How you doing, bro? Yeah, this this place is awesome, oh, man. man. I I was like, I just walked by and I was like, like Woody's was like, hey, you, you want a plastic cup? Like, ah. Uh, and then he was like, um, oh, cash. We don't take cash anymore. And I'm just like, well, look at it. I came here and it's like the old time. Well, I've been before the pandemic. But you see, I mean, nobody was wearing masks and drinking and like the old times. So, you know, I, I quit drinking. And for this, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I enjoy this too much. It's OK. A couple of good beers. Right? How about you? You you're doing all right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you got the go thing. Everything going good. You were you were telling me you do um, you're doing like the metal work. And stuff, yeah. Right? Yeah. Welding. Welding. Is that good? Finishing up a rack we're doing for a truck. Sweet. Painting it now. Sweet. It's gonna be nice. You know that's an art form what yeah. you're doing. Welding. That's all. Yeah, that's I awesome. Know how to weld, but, now I but now it's coming yeah. right in handy, right? Yep. Better than shell, right? Yeah, then working there. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's nice. I got a deal. I got kicked out. I can't go back. The what? Giselle girl. I got in a fight with oh, Giselle. Giselle. Yeah. Um, Pre-pandemic. I started taking pictures. I was doing this like documentary thing yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. about the bathrooms and stuff. Uh -huh. And not to be mean, but to be like, whoa, we got to be clean. You know, with the coffees, you yeah. know how there was like pieces of crap going in the coffees. And so I'm telling her, hey, you know, now that there's the pandemic, yeah. like maybe the hot water in the bathroom might be looked at. I was yeah, just saying no this kind of, exactly yeah. right. It's a pandemic, wash yeah. your hands. And I'm right. saying that you told me you washed it 20 minutes ago, but there's like footprints I found on the yeah. toilet seat. I'm just saying, I wasn't being mean. Yeah. And she reverted, she went into Mexican and was like, el loco, with this thing where I'm like, whoa, my, my grandfather would like <laughs> kick your butt right now. He's Russian, you know what I mean? But I told her like, well, I have the right to film you, not in the store, yeah, outside, but out, right? Outside, yeah. And I have this, you want to see it, I'll show you. She's on YouTube now going, you have no right to be filming. She's walking toward my car, getting in my zone. And I'm saying, yeah, I do. First Amendment right, yeah, right. expression. Uh -huh. And yeah, I'm just right. doing this because you did that weird thing. Uh -huh. And she's saying, no, no, no. And I'm telling her, yeah, yeah, yeah. And afterwards, the next day I go to the point market, my usual thing, I'm like, hey, it's cool. I'm just going to get a can of something don't even make me a coffee you know what yeah, i mean right. just my usual thing i've been coming here 20 years yeah. and she's like no i have the right to throw you out and that was it and there was like a new guy on the floor he's going to be manager like tomorrow oh, yeah. do you see the scene he was talking to me he's like i've never done this before i'm like wait when you fill out the forms i remember filling out yeah, the form right. to get a job here and they were like french what are you going to do with french you know for the bilingual right psychology all the computerized bullshit i'm like really you're just jumping in and he's like yeah as quickly as i can and i'm like okay but during this situation it was her it was giselle behind the plexiglass he was on the floor stalking where it's like no dude you should be showing him how to use the register where the cameras are he's going to be doing that job you don't care you already told me she's told me she's not going back to school because it's too hard to get online. Where this other guy, um, oh, you know who he is. He just went to LA now. Okay. He's got his masters uh -huh. and he, he's working with underage kids. Okay. So I know he's the same guy working in this place and your buddies, yeah. remember, whatever you guys Abraham do. And, yeah. and Abraham, right, all cool right. buddies. But these women kind of who were, and he would tell me like, he showed me, oh, you know on the coffee machine, it's just when it's not tasting good, yeah. there's this button and it makes it super hot. And I'm going, oh yeah, when I worked at a coffee shop, that was the thing. The best yeah. thing was to keep it hot. Cool, thanks for showing me that secret. So I go back kind of the Giselle thing. I'm like, hey, he just showed me, he was cool. That's what you need to do, not be like, ah, I don't know. And the assistant, she's like, used to be nice to me. I know that she has her cat on her visa. Do you know what I mean? We spoke about cats and stuff. That's how close we are. She's protecting yeah. her Giselle, the team. Yeah. I get it. I get it. It's the team. You go that way.
But I'm like, oh, come on, what's going on here? And it's... Everything. Everything is just... And and they brought it on as though I was being... um, Like, he's going to pick up your plate. Yeah, I know. He gave me a free drink. Uh I just walked in going, this is amazing. And he was like, dude. He saw I was talking to some people. He said, here, it's free. The (laughs) salsa, the... You know what I mean? And she was telling me, like, she was taking me on, Giselle, like I was being racist. And that hurt my feelings so much. And and for them to take her side. So now it didn't even matter. I know it's like that. It's just it's the boss guy. Yeah. This boss, he owns the world across the street. He owns the mobile where my kid goes to school. He owns the shell over by the Mackenzie Park. He owns, it's just, he's the owner. Right? And so I go, okay, well, I'm just going to call corporate because that's what Giselle said. Hey, yeah. here's the number. I'm like... What number? They didn't even give me the number, right? They were like, why are you wasting our time? I love it. So corporate. Why are you wasting our time? No, your time first. You know, polite. (laughs) And ours. But I I look, there's nothing happening. You're not doing anything. Why are you? But listen, how corporate. I go through three days of trying to get through this thing. They're blaming it all on the COVID. Oh, Saturday and Sundays we can't get through because of the COVID. Mm-hmm. I go, well, no, years ago when there was yeah. Jolt Cola. Do you know this place when there was Captain Video? Behind the station. It's the station. Yeah. It's a closet now. They don't even clean it. Yeah. The guy used to write on the videos his own critique. You would get in a bad yeah, right. movie just because the dude. Yeah, right. And there's Jolt Cola, three times the caffeine mm-hmm. that the government shuts down. I mean, this is all stupid, I know. But in my heart, I'm like, whoa, we came here and you forgot me. You're treating me like I'm nobody. Yeah. Remember how, how nice it used to be when we were Abraham? Yeah. Used to be there and all the people. Yeah. And bring it back. What happened with Abraham where I couldn't believe it, where I just told him, I said, whoa, he did a really cool thing. And they just got this look on their faces like, what did he do? And I said, oh, well, he just showed me. Whoa, I don't, he was doing a good, you know, it was completely backtracking. I don't want to get this. And they're like, he shouldn't have showed you where that button is. Oh. Right? And I was like, no, 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 it makes it taste better. Please don't do anything. Like, I take it back. He's the best. Like, whatever. And the next day, Abraham looks at me. He goes, what did you tell them? But on his face, I saw he wasn't joking. He was telling me, what did you say? And I said, I, and he said, can you go po- apologize? That's all he said. I don't know what you told him. Can you go apologize? That's how bad it was. I was like, yeah. I can't believe they're doing it to someone who knows how to do everything. Yeah, right. And I go back and they're there and I go in and I don't want to apologize. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. really like, hey, he didn't have anything to do with it. It was me. I don't know what, but I said the wrong thing. Yeah. I, I misspoke. It was the only thing he never showed me. It was that really. I, and the assistant and not Giselle this was another one with the tattoos and the short she just had this thing where I saw she looked like that at my mama when my mama didn't know it my mama's like 90 now went through the holocaust she doesn't even care anymore she's like there she was at the thing and I I didn't want my mama to know I was there and I came around the counter and they were just like like kind of you know what I mean like she's bitching white woman white niggers we were the white niggers. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's the thing. That kind of attitude, I can tell now why there's a riot. When there's like, do you know what I mean? When they're like, I don't want this store to be. Anyways, I'm sorry, man. I just blabbed you. That's okay, no worries. Thank you, man. I just needed to get it out because you knew the place and you knew the people. Ten years, dude. And now you're doing an art form and it's paying better. And I just like the way you're looking. And I know this guy, too. He's awesome. Yeah. Hey, hi. We, we know each other, but we probably, you know. Yeah, no, it's been a while, but you look awesome. You both look awesome. Thanks. I, I love to see you masks off and all. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And then there's that. What can you do? Someone going over there? Hey, hey, yeah, good, good talking to you, man. Have a good night.
Dude, and the Frida Kahlo. That is so awesome to try. Oh my God, is that Bourdain? Yeah, bro. Oh, are you selling it? No, we're not, man. Oh, oh my God, that is so freaking beautiful. Oh, yeah, I gotta film that. I gotta at least film that.